Mathematician Luis Caffarelli wins Abel Prize for 2023 for solving equations with geometry. He started working on partial differential equations in the late 1970s and published hundreds of papers. Union Environment Minister Bhupender Yadav launches Aravalli Green Wall project in Gurugram. Sri Bhupender Yadav launches Aravalli Green Wall project, a major initiative to green 5 km buffer area around the Aravalli Hill Range in five states. Prime Minister Modi inaugurated the Madhusudan Sai College of Medical Sciences and Research in Chikbalapur, Bangalore in the presence of Karnataka Chief Minister Basavaraj Pami. After that, he inaugurated the Metro Rail service for a distance of about 13 km between K.R. Puram Whitefield in Bangalore. Young entrepreneur Isha Ambani has been awarded, Gen Next Entrepreneur, by Forbes India. Every year Forbes, the leading business magazine in India, presents the award for excellence in leadership. A 7 feet high slab stone relief sculpture of Brahma Shasta was found at Thanjavur. Depicted with black crown on head, Virachangili on chest and forearms. Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, launches LVM3M3, OneWeb India-2 mission in Sriharikota. National Science Centre organizes Innovation Festival to promote passion and aptitude for science and technology. Border Roads Organization, BRO, opens Leh Manali Highway in a record 138 days. Parliamentary panel urges government to frame a comprehensive national F policy, extend FAME 2 incentives by two years. IMF sets another condition for crisis hit Pakistan to revive loan. MGNR EGS wages raised by up to 10.4% for FY24. In absolute terms, the daily wages have been raised in the 7 rupees 26 range. India's foreign exchange reserves rose $12.8 billion to $572.8 billion as on March 17, 2023, Reserve Bank of India RBI, data showed on Friday. The rupee depreciated by 24 paise to close at 82.44, provisional, against the US dollar on Friday weighed down by the strength of the American currency and massive selling in the domestic equity market. India and US Inc. Mao on Semiconductor Supply Chain, Innovation Partnership. Lok Sabha passes finance bill with key amendments without discussion. Russian President Vladimir Putin announces plan to station tactical nuclear weapons in Belarus. Over 26 persons were killed in a tornado in several towns of Mississippi in US. World observes annual Earth Hour to raise awareness about climate change. Gordon Moore, co-founder of Intel and creator of Moore's Law, dies at 94. UAE Food Bank launches initiative to eradicate food waste and distribute 3 million meals during Ramadan. Swiss Open, Indian men's doubles pair of Satwik Siraj Rankiredi and Chirag Shetty enter into finals. The football match between Argentina and Panama was held in Buenos Aires. The match was Lionel Messi's first international match for Argentina after winning the World Cup. Argentina won the match 2-0. Messi scored his 800th goal in this game. The 13th World Women's Boxing Championship was held in Delhi. In the final of the 48 kilograms category, Indian player Neetu Kangas clashed with Mongolian player Litsahan at Letsetkai. Bangladesh was a part of Pakistan from 1947 to 1971. Bangladesh became an independent country on 26 March 1971. In Women's Premier League cricket, Delhi Capitals will face Mumbai Indians in the Summit Clash.